no one forced me to do that. But like, I remember being like, I really don't want to go onto the stage and juggle. Like that is just not what I want to do. Biggest fashion regret of your time on The Bachelor. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so there's... (laughs) I think I remember correctly by the end of the show. I don't know if it was like a combination of just traveling and eating like not great food and then drinking probably way too much wine and champagne. But I think I had gained like 15 pounds. Um, So I had these tiny little jean shorts that were my shorts that fit me perfectly before the show and all that. And then I just remember squeezing into those and like they were so tiny and so low cut and like just not cute. Not not a good look. Not a good look. Oh, but no one go back and watch it. Just trust me, it wasn't cute. <laughs> Definitely. Um, what is the biggest reality TV show filming secret that you can share with us? One thing that I thought was kind of interesting that I just wasn't expecting is sometimes, usually most of your interviews are done in the moment. Like they call them in the moment interviews and you are pulled away from the situation and you do an interview. That is how they would prefer to get those clips, those thoughts, those emotions. But sometimes maybe something didn't quite like add up or maybe I forgot to say something that didn't really like help make sense of the storyline or what was happening. So you would like put on the dress that you were wearing from that rose ceremony at at the end of filming. And they would like ask you questions about that night. They would never tell you what to say, but like you're not in the moment anymore, but you're like pretending to be and you're like Mm -hmm. in the dress that you were in in that moment. So I thought that was a little strange to, you know, go back and Mm -hmm put on dresses and like try to do my hair like it was that night. And I'm like, did I, is this how I was wearing my hair? I don't remember. So <laughs> interesting little tidbit. Some of those interviews are not in the moment. I love that. Um, did a producer ever ask you to do something that you just didn't want to do? Whether it be like, a, a, you know, there's always like those yeah. weird challenge dates where you have to like eat something, like stuff like that. Yeah. Not that I, I'm trying to think, I can't think of anything that I like. The, <laughs> actually, yes. No one, no one producer in particular, but on my season, we had to do a talent show in Las Vegas. And I'm not like a woman of many talents, to be honest with you. Like I never grew like I grew up playing sports and, you know, I'm not going to go, what am I going to do? Dribble a basketball on stage. So we were trying to figure out what to do. And I ended up juggling, which I feel like no one forced me to do that. But like, I remember being like, I really don't want to go onto the stage and juggle. Like that is just not what I want to do right now. I ended up doing it anyways. And you know what? I juggled like a champ, so it <laughs> worked out. Totally. Do, do producers help you with the, those dates? I always wondered that, like, you know, the dates where you have to, like, like write these poems or songs or things like that. I'm like, that's a lot of pressure. <laughs> Honestly, at least for me, maybe with some people they do. Mm-hmm. For me, no. I always, I remember even night one, you know how when women or men get out of the limo, mm-hmm. They usually have like a tagline or they're doing something crazy. They have this prop or whatever. I feel like producers have to help, you know, assist in getting, you know, sometimes they'll like have an animal or something. So clearly someone's helping them do that. Mm -hmm. I remember for me, I was like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. And they were like, well, you just got to think of what, like no one helped me do anything. So again, I don't know if that's just dependent on like the situation and Mm -hmm. some people, they, they do help, but no, I feel like I was always just left on my own to try to figure out like, what's something cute to say when I first meet this guy that I've never met before on national television. So I think I ended up giving him like a pair of wings that we would give kids on the airplane or something, like just something so, you know, kind of lame. I don't know, but no one helped me. So that's that's what I came idea. up with. That is a good idea. <laughs> how long did, after the final rose, uh, t- t- how long does that take to film? I know some of them are live, but do, do you ever like, was there, is it like a long drawn out day? Gosh, I feel like I wish I had like a clearer memory of it because I feel like it's been so long and I, it was such a blur in a way, I think because I was, there were so many emotions and I was so overwhelmed at so many points in it that I kind of just like don't remember. Um, But yeah, I feel like I remember getting ready really early in the morning and then just kind of waiting. Yeah. Like, I feel like there's a lot of waiting around on the show, especially, you know, as time goes along. Um. And like, in that case, I'm waiting by myself. Like I'm not, I don't have like the friends that I made in the house to like yeah. drink champagne with oh anymore. Goodness. I'm just like kind of hanging and waiting and probably <laughs> eating and whatever. Um, so yeah, I don't remember though, how long the day was. I'm mm-hmm. again, it was probably just such a high stress, probably. high emotion day 
that I feel like it was long, but I don't really remember. Yeah. And then what was your proudest moment on the show? Um, probably being able to show off my wonderful family. Mm -hmm. Um, even though that's like such a small little bit, but I just remember being so excited to a get to see my family because it had been gosh, a couple months since I had seen them or even talked to them. And then just being able to like go back to my hometown and show, you know, my home and my, my parents and my brothers and my sisters and our dog at the time, that was probably my most proud moment. 